To start out this video, no SAM system is perfect and won't be able to intercept all kinds of targets. There is a wide variety of threats a SAM system could encounter. Anything from large cargo planes, agile fighter jets, small slow moving drones, low flying cruise missile or high fast flying ballistic missile and the list goes on. That's why SAM systems are often specialized to hit one or a few of these threats. Russia has many systems often claiming to be able to intercept most if not all these threats. Each system has most of the time several weapons to choose from which could cover different sections of the spectrum. Soviet Union really had a head start on US with SAM system. Their fear of West coming in with massive amounts of airplane and cruise missile made Soviet really to focus in on these threats. However, now as Russia trying to shoot down GMLRS rocket, a real gap in capability becomes apparent. GMLRS are fairly slow moving, small ballistic missile. Shooting off at Mach 2.5, it however bleeds off some of that speed as the motor only fires off a few seconds in the beginning and let the missile steer off in a ballistic trajectory to its target. Panzer, Tor, Buck, S300 and S400 are all claiming to be able to intercept this threat on paper. While it's hard to positively verify that Russia has used all of these systems against HIMARS rocket, most of them, if not all, should have gotten the opportunity at least. Ukraine has hit high value target as ammo depots, which should not be a surprise for Russia and should be protected by SAM system. However, in these cases it could be that personnel was unprepared or unmotivated, missing the attack. Also, as the worst case scenario, only one missile needs to get through to possibly cause a chain reaction with the stored ammunition. While all these ammo depots blowing up could have been caused by these cases is highly unlikely. It would however not reflect Russia's SAM system effectiveness against GMLRS rocket. There is however another evidence pointing to Russia's SAM system effectiveness against GMLRS rocket that is the problem. With the Antonovsky bridge the case becomes much harder for Russia to explain as this bridge is a key factor for Russia to advance or even hold on to the area on the other side of Dnieper river. This has been a top priority to protect. This should result in Russia putting its best SAM system optimized for the threat which they know only can be done by HIMARS rocket as Ukraine don't hold any other long range capability to hit the bridge. This gives Russia some of the best circumstances as they know what target will be hit with what they will hit them with and knowing it's an imminent threat. GMLRS rocket are often fired with multiple rockets at the same time and need to hit the bridge multiple times to cause large enough damage to temporarily take out the bridge as they carry limited warheads and are meant for smaller targets and not large reinforced concrete bridges. As the weeks that followed from Ukraine's attacks shows pictures and video of multiple impact zone on the bridge on multiple occasion. As Russia repaired these as quickly as they could, it became easy to see when a new wave of missile hit. Videos also showed Russia's SAM system trying to hit the GMLRS rockets while letting several pass through. Most likely being protected by a Panzer SAM system but possibly a bug. But while the result of one system becomes clear to be inefficient to protect against this threat, Ukraine has hit the bridge over 10 times over many weeks giving enough time for Russia to change out their SAM system if they would have a better option. But as multiple rockets keep getting through each time while they still use their SAM system actively Trying to shoot down GMLRS missile shows that they don't have any more efficient system for this threat. 
This is not to say Russia's SAM system haven't shut down any GMLRS rockets. They most likely have shut down several. Possibly what could be seen in this video off camera. It's however the percentage of interception that is way too low at the best of circumstances. Reason for this poor result could be due to many reasons. As mentioned earlier, Russia's SAM was mostly focusing on jets and cruise missiles. On the first point, Russia's SAM system have been proven very effective shooting down many western planes. Looking at cruise missile to compare with the Tomahawk missile which is 1.5 meter longer than the GMLRS rocket at 5.5 meter and twice as big in diameter and flies subsonic. It could be that GMLRS rockets are too small in size causing the problem. Russian missile commonly use fragmentation warhead with proximity fuse. These are great on fighter jets that are very sensitive even for the smallest damage, but could be less effective on ballistic missile, which could possibly sustain the damage without exploding, or not enough damage hit the smaller GMLRS rockets, making it so the missile does the job correctly, but the warhead makes so the mission fail. This was something US with their Patriot Pac-2 missile learned the hard way, and is one reason Pac-3 missile use impact to destroy its target. Whatever the reason, Ukraine will keep using this hole in Russia's defense to their advantage. That's all I had for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.